I've got a nice easy job here to prop these up because the joists run into the wall so up to here we're fine so anything above there now held by this just see this crumbly block here there's a good chance that's going to fall out so we might do what we'll get we've got our um, galvanized strip so we'll, we'll do that strip along the underside of the joist to just keep everything in place shouldn't do that because now we're leaning and knows where to keep the keys Morning. It is the 22nd of June, 8 o'clock, and today is the start of a pretty pretty big job, I guess we could say. We um where do I start? We've got lots to do here. As you can see, this customer stripped out the whole house for us, which thank goodness. <laughs> but um we've got loads of different little jobs to do. Um these two windows, for example, being turned to doorways, so we're gonna um open the open those up a little bit, put new lintels in. But uh, front and back, I think. Um, I'm going to build some pillars out a little bit here because I think there's a massive steel going all the way across there. Um, that um, those doors are being blocked up and bricked up. There's uh, stuff behind you to do. There's a fireplace there that just needs flushing up. Yeah, we've got plenty to do. <laughs> Take a bit of a, a tour. So as you can see, customers customers kindly uh, gutted the whole place out. So yeah, so they're getting blocked up. Steel's going across there, so these nibs are being extended out a bit. He's marked where we're extending them to. Um, the I think this is being opened up this way for a doorway, and I think the same for there. But this side isn't too bad because it's got quite a big concrete lintel, so we may just be doing the front on that, but this one, definitely both. Uh, and what else? Oh yeah, I can actually show you this. A very long time ago now, we um, we did this. If you remember, we did this uh, little porch conversion thing with this nice fancy stonework that we ran out of. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the next next step. But let me just show you this actually, because some of this is amazing. Look at that. Sat on like, oh, well that one's actually sat on something pretty decent compared to the others, but a bloody closure as a, uh, as a pad stone. That side looks okay, but then you go to this side. What the hell? And look at that one. <laughs> so, uh... Priorities. Oh yeah, so that's a little bit shocking. Hello. I think that's working. Oh, got two bars. Right, where are we up to? What have you told them? Everything. You told them we're still in the extension? No. Right, this is, a, this is an add-on. It was supposed to be extended again, but um, planning won't let them extend further. So, no uh, wall plate on it. Never seen a roof put on with no wall plate, but there you go. This is all coming off. Everything's coming off. Roof, ceiling, everything. Our customer have been very busy. Obviously, you can see where the wall's been took out of there. And also, um, the toilet's still connected. So we have electric, water and a toilet. So we're just getting all the gear in and then we can decide what to do first. Yeah. I was going to do the doors first, but I said no, because you're very right, they should be done last. Well, since we've got the access, we may as well bring the blocks in through the back and get these pillars knocked and the, out. And the big effing steels. Yeah. Good news is there's the brick. <laughs> so... Obviously we've got this crappy damn course out, we're going to put some fresher stuff down and uh, there have been a time where I've just been ages trying to brush all that out but now, now life's a bit easier. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Well, we found its purpose. <laughs> it demolishes fireplaces uh, in no time. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> that was uh, easier than I thought it was going to be. It was only tied in every other block, so the rest of it just pushed off, really. So, we get all this crap cleaned up. Dad's been having a bit of a, a break up over there as well, so we'll get this tidied up and have a quick break because I don't know about you, but I'm sweating now. It's very uh, stuffy in here, this bloody hot weather and wearing big ass yeah, dust, dust masks. Fifteen mil. Up a bit. That's it, out a bit that way. Stop. Instagram pick because 15 mil 15 mil seating I'm get closer to that I'll put a cavity tray in that should make it alright it's like each each one you look at the uh, seating diminishes um, probably nothing at this end that's ridiculous the, the, what's the wood on by about 30 probably yeah this is the old back of the house. Well, you just have to look around the rest of it. It's not really a surprise that that's that. Yeah. A little bit of architrave used there for the plaster boards. Pretty good. Speechless. Right. Nice easy job here to prop these up because the joists run into the wall, so up to here we're fine. And then you see this trimmer goes across here. If I had to trim this out to get the, the toilet waste in, um, you can see we've had leaks in the past. So what we've done here, obviously we can't prop behind that, so we've drilled, drilled out and we put um, four grabbers in. And I put them in an angle so they help like under compression. That one didn't work, so I put another four and, and counter something about halfway in so they right into the block work. So anything above there now held by this, which is onto the wall and trimmed into this, which will be propped as well. So this section would be great because it won't be any echo in the way. Uh, this is going to be stitch drilled out to 200 mil, and that's all coming out. That's me, the, uh, camera. Show you the line. So that's going to be the nib because the pad stone is going to be going into the cavity, tying in these two walls. So, so it's, it's 200 nib or 300 pad stone. And it's a good job we've done that because it's worked out. It just comes to the edge of that air brick, so that whole air brick comes out now. Right. Cool. So we're showing the seating. We're showing that, aren't we? Yeah. We haven't, looked, we, haven't, we haven't opened this end up yet, so we don't know what that's going to be. This is the timber. It's probably, oh, that's very generous on that one. It's about 25, 30 mil, that one. Well, about 25. 
Whoa, we've got a bit giddy there, about 70 mil there. But yeah, we'll have to be careful with these as well. To see this crumbly block here, there's a good chance that's going to fall out. So we might do what we we'll get. We've got our um, galvanised strip, so we'll, we'll do that strip along the underside of the joist to just keep everything in place. We don't want it like the last job where all the brickwork's fallen out. But then again, that was a very old crumbly house. So yeah, plodding along. I'm going to start taking some pockets out of this to tie the pillar in. Because it's got to be physically tied in. You can't just use. Um, screw ties. We'll use them as well but we'll actually tie it into the pillar as well. Obviously this one's getting reduced. I've got our measures for the steel to get them ordered. I'll try and get them ordered today and then hopefully they'll be delivered tomorrow or the day after. I think we're here over the weekend. We're definitely a Saturday aren't we? Yeah. Because um, I've got the okay for my hip so we need to get some money in that bank. I'll be, we'll be having six weeks off when the hip's done so yeah. We're going to have to get a side hustle. Yeah. Yeah. Start making lemonade. Have a lemonade stand outside the house on the end of the drive. There's more than 10 mil. Oh. So yeah. Oh. We're getting there. So we're going to start propping this now with what acros we've got. We can take Paul's acro out now and use that. So that gives us three acros. We'll have to bring more, some more from home because we're going to need at least eight. So once the um, once the walls are propped, we can take those out. I've, I've just put those two in. Well, why don't we ask Robbie if they can bring theirs? They're not coming. Them. They're not coming for. They could be a, a month before they come. Oh. And they're coming to help us with the steel. We're getting a straight. We're getting a genie. We've got room for a genie in there. We're going to rub the lamp and get a genie. Yeah, these two here. They're only there while I undermine this to get this ready for the pillar. The plan is to get this built today. As Alex said, get that built up, get that knocked down. It's written. That's all going off, ready for the steels then. And then hopefully we'll get on this today. We can both get on this together. This is just going to be trimmed off, get all the snots off. And then we get a mix and we're going to fill all these cavernous gaps up. Cavernous gaps. Yeah, because they're big gaps. There you go, there's the old flint. Yeah, and we're going to brick that up as well. Just flush it up. Yeah, we can give the neighbours a warning too. We'll give them a written letter to say we're sorry that... We're making a noise, because obviously that's attached to next door. And so. he's been using that this morning. Yeah, How's yeah. the battery? Only one bar. Oh, that's not bad. Should be charging it then. Let me, um, key holder. Yes. I shouldn't do that, because now the internet knows where to keep the keys. Hmm? I shouldn't do that, because now the internet knows where to keep the keys. Right, let's start getting this propped up and Alex can start knocking this out, start making a mess. I'm going to stay on this end and try and get this done today. So yeah, what are we on now, about 11 o'clock? Quarter to 12. Well, he was talking, he was talking to Jeremy then, wasn't he, so? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have been talking to the customer for a while, getting, getting... Wait! Yeah, I have to talk to the customer. I was talking about you. Yeah, but wait, no. I was there. Uh... Yeah, he's there. You, you, don't, you don't even know that was that was done now. Yeah, we know where we are, what we do. spot of lunch. It got a bit dusty in here then. Yeah, a um, few little bits to do. It's not to knock off the... We're going to put a mix in, probably half a mix in after, after dinner. I'm sorted here now. I've just measured all my cuts out there, all my cuts for this pillar. All cuts, so I'm just going to do them with the saw outside. Usual script. I'm going to put a couple of screwing ties there, tie in there, a couple of screwing ties there, and then we tie in again with the padstone. 
and the block. So um, that's us. Now we're all propped. These two are just temporary on here. We need them really. The rest of it is propped up. Like that. So theoretically we take this back skin out, but we'll see what we we'll see how we get on. And then as I showed you before, that's held with the grabbers. We might just hang fire. Mind you, we can take that that's fit attached to this wall, it, it trims into the wall. I've actually done the um, stitch drilling all the way down there. Just drilled out every other brick. And the rest of it will go down the perp near enough, close enough. And that'll give us a 300 pad stone onto the onto the wall then. Um, yeah, that pad stone's going to be roughly that level. Roughly that level. Steel's going to come down roughly to what, what it is now, so they're not losing any headspace. <coughs> so we're going to have a quick dinner. Go and cook in the van because it's roasting again out there. And see what Alex wants to do. I'll probably get him back on this and then we can get this in tidy and bring all the shite back towards the back. Everything's just get piled in the garden for a grab. Well, I need to check on that, see if they'll take plaster and there's a few um, bits of trees and stuff out there, so I'll have to make sure of that one. We might end up having to get a skip and transfer it into a skip. But we'll keep your posters on that one. So yeah, go and have some lunch, catch you after dinner. There we go. It's always, it's, you always know it's been a good day when it definitely looks different. <laughs> so, yeah, Dad got that pillar up to the finished height for the block. All that's left to go on there now is like the pad stone and every pad stone steel, so that's good. We didn't quite get finished with that, just run out of mortar, but got about 90% of that up. So it's just gonna be three cuts and then that's finished. And this side's all propped. I think we've made pretty decent progress. Oh yeah, and this pillar is this pillar's ready for demolition. And pretty good progress, I think, for flat start more or less. So tomorrow we'll just be back at it, get that finished, maybe get this blocked up behind me. We'll see how it goes. Catch you tomorrow. Good Friday morning, Friday up Friday, been there, done that. Had a little detour to Fairwoods to pick up the lintels. <coughs> this one is gonna be, we're gonna increase the size, this side staying in, we're gonna go that way to 1700. Uh, they didn't have any cavity lintels in stock, so we're gonna put a six before in the back here, 2100, and then we're gonna do the outside as a separate job, and then we can do the cavity tray from the outside then. Just uh, not looking forward to those. Freaking balls. This one is a straightforward, I think it's about 100 mil each side, straight down. So you can use the recipe or even drill it, hand saw, whatever. Lintel's plenty big enough, so that's staying in. We're going to drop the sides so we can take the inside of it out. 
a couple of cuts to do there. One, two, three. I'm not touching that yet because we'll come to that when we've got the pad stones. We picked up a lintel to cut up for pad stones. Uh, 1500. Yeah, we've yeah, got 15 for pad stones. We've got 2100 for this one. Yeah. A 2400 angle iron because they've never 21 left. Nope. And then a 1800? Uh, 15. No? 18. 1800 angle iron. Was it 1800 the angle iron? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because the wind is 14, 40, so it'll give us just over 150 seating. So we're not touching any of this today. I mean, we could take the back, some of the back of it out. Okay, okay. Let me just remind you of the seating. That's that's the bad, and that's the ridiculous. What's that? 15 mil. Unbelievable. So yeah, that's today's plan. It's meant to be lousy weather today, so if we're knocking anything out, we'll we'll do it early, so we're not in and out of the rain. And then these these are brilliant. Bit of timber. Line and pins just wedged up against the steel and build, build up to that. And then we just use the level on this side. Just propped up with a bit of a chisel. <laughs> Real, like, cobbled together, but just did the job. So they can come out now. If we get the last piece and we can slide it in that way then. So yeah, he's had a bacon balm. We had got some sausages, I've had a coffee. We're ready to go. So let's get cracking. go dad's just uh patched up that little hole so that part's finished now i've finished the top bit that's uh packed in nice and tight and um, you've got your butterflies in every other course on this one it's every course because it's only one brick at uh, one brick one block out got your handle wrong hmm blue bears not butterflies what did i say butterflies butterflies are the antique ties that you put in cavity walls oh yeah Bluebirds, whatever. I prefer the screw-ins. 
And there we go. They're in, and just while Dad was doing that patching up, I've um, knocked out the. This was this was a uh, really weak. This look at that. So and same here. I don't, uh, we're not going to block these up just yet though, because it's making for good ventilation while we're doing all this inside work. So I think I think next step is going to be tackle one of these. I might make a start bringing some of this pillar down because, like Dad said yesterday, he's got that propped up with um, grabbers and whatever. Yeah. This part needs a bit of a patch up as well, but I think I said this the other day as well. But perfectly comes off at the air, air brick. But yeah, there's where we're at so far. Bit of a, just a bit of finishing off progress here and there. Did you tell him I forgot to put your butters in your bag and had to go home? That too. I've uh, I've been a bit too I've been a bit sick lately, so I've uh, I've been lacking in the packing my lunch department. So Dad has taken up the role and I forgot my buses. <laughs> but uh, I'm feeling better now, so I'll get back on my lunch duties before everyone goes at me in the comments. But yeah, that's where we're at. We'll um, get a little bit more cleaned up just so we're not burying ourselves in crap, and then we'll. Get another, get the next task started. There we go. The task we chose was get the the biggest lintel in, get the get that job out of the way. There we go. Two hundred mil seat on either side. Bit heavy, better than that. Heavy ass twenty one hundred monster. And it's bang on level because we used the um, we used the laser. So laser to check that that's that's fixed. That was our fixed point. So we just put put the laser across there. Put that piece in. I've got a twenty mil split to go across the top and just bed it. Yeah, and then this cut here, and Dad started the door opening at the back. So it's gonna make gonna make life a bit easier doing that lintel at least. Yeah. So now the angle side is just an angle line now. Yeah. Angle line cavity tray standard job. So three courses out, angle line in back in again. Uh, same with that side. That in the lintel staying. The door is going slightly wider, 100 mil each side, and then we're going to change the angle line outside. So two angle lines to do. Two breakdowns now. 
That's, that's it for the inside lintels. Yeah. Apart from the big steels. But we don't talk about them until next week. <laughs> So yeah, a few days. Well, Dad gets that cut. I'll uh, strip this down and um, get ready. We've, we've got a little bit of mix left, so thankfully, all this has been done with one mix today. Happy days. All right, uh, to cleaning. Ah, oh, didn't work, did I? Just blew into the camera. Oh, balls. That's how our day's gone. Looks like he's had a hard day's graft in the mines. So I should just go into Aldi from here. <laughs> Don't get that a miss. You think you're a bandit? You got a mask on there. Imagine not wearing a mask, this would be in your lungs, this. Because you'll be always wearing masks. You'll be clink a lot soft but dusty. Yeah. So. The doors are, the back doors, the back of the doors yeah. are out. I did that side and Dad's done this side. Both lintels are ready to go, sorted. So now it's just a case of getting those front lintels done, whenever that is. I think we're doing the breakdown. Right. So they've got the pressure of getting the cut straight. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, guess this, I guess you could call this the end of part one then? There's not really going to be any parts, I'll we'll just have to edit it as it goes along. There's no really fixed parts, is there? That's like half the window done, we've got the other half to do now. Well, you could say this is like one part done because it's the inside. Yeah, everything everything on the inside is done apart from the steels. So and the steels the, are a whole separate video. And the block work. Well, that's another separate video, isn't it? Because that's got all the tubes and seal on that. Yeah. Have you shown that you took the thresholds out so you can build straight on there, ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, I explained that, yeah. yeah. Thresholds, that's it, yeah. Couldn't remember the word. Anyway. How, how do I look? I don't look as bad. Hair looks bad, but... Yeah, so that'll be it for... That's because um, you stand around doing nothing. Like that commenter said again. So, next time someone says that, I'm just going to... I'll just delete them now. I'm not going to argue with you. I thought you were being serious, then. You weren't going to make it back home, then. <laughs> so, just in case... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on the bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's a great help and we might... We greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with... Charcoal Steve and Alex. And we'll uh, see you in the next one.